proper training, use of an effective lifeline system, and adherence to grain bin entry procedures including lockout tagout will greatly reduce the number of fatalities in grain bins. It happens to children and teenagers. On July 28, 2010, two teenagers lost their lives when they were buried under 30 feet of grain. Alex Pacas was 19 years old and Wyatt Whitebread was only 14 years old when their lives were tragically ended. And it happens to adults. On May 28, 2013, a 68-year-old man, Warren Muma, died when corn collapsed on top of him in the grain bin. And it's still happening. On July 17, 2013, Roy McCarty was working in a grain bin when he became buried under corn and died due to asphyxiation. Every year, people who enter grain bins are engulfed and trapped in grain. It takes only seconds to be entrapped, and over 50% of these entrapments result in death. Grain entrapment is often caused by grain that goes out of condition, resulting in clumping, cones, pyramids, bridging, and other problems with bin unloading. When this happens, people frequently enter bins because the grain does not flow smoothly through the system. Grain that has formed bridges or cliffs may collapse on a person, sometimes completely covering the person. People in bins may also get pulled under by flowing grain. This grain entrapment can cause suffocation and death. The stakeholders are farmers and farm families, grain elevator owners and workers, emergency services personnel, and the local community, all of whom may be affected by the social and economic consequences of these incidents. It's important for anyone who enters a grain bin to know what the hazards are and how to remain safe. The Grain Handling Safety Coalition has training modules available to help train workers in grain bin safety, including a module on grain bin entry. This training emphasizes that grain must be dried sufficiently and cooled properly if it's to remain in good condition while in storage. Always lock out and tag out all equipment before anyone enters a grain bin. Make sure everyone is properly trained and they follow all grain bin entry procedures and always use a harness and properly anchored lifeline with a second person to observe and monitor the worker in the grain bin. There's a video available on the lifeline protection system. It describes the proper use of the lifeline system, including details about the harness, ropes, proper anchor points, and the responsibilities of a second person or observer. In addition to grain bin safety, the Grain Handling Safety Coalition also has training modules on entanglement hazards, fall hazards, characteristics of confined spaces, and a youth curriculum for agricultural instructors. It's time for everyone to realize that getting hurt or dying in a grain bin is not an accident. It's the result of not identifying the hazards and not taking the appropriate precautions. Remember, proper training, use of an effective lifeline system, and adherence to grain bin entry procedures, including lockout tagout, will greatly reduce the number of fatalities in grain bins. More information about the Grain Handling Safety Coalition, their training modules, and the Lifeline video is available at grainsafety.org.